Hey there, welcome back to another episode. This one, we'll be talking about something really obvious, to be completely honest with you. We're going to be chatting about a specific aspect of Instagram that everyone, and by everyone, I mean literally everyone knows how to use. Still only a few actually know how to use it correctly though, and even fewer know why they should use it properly. So if you use Instagram, you probably know what reels are. And if you're like most people, you probably spend a lot of time every single day just watching funny, cute, inspiring, and short emotional videos on reels. If that's you, you also know that reels are pretty addictive and a lot of people watch them. Do you see what I'm getting at with this one? If you don't, let me break this down for you really, really easy. So a lot of people watch Instagram Reels. A lot of people cannot seem to get enough of it. What this means is that Reels are pretty much one of the best avenues to market your business. Sadly, many business owners that I've met either don't use Reels at all to leverage their views in the market or they don't use it really well. And so many don't even know why they should actually be using this properly. So today, that's what I want to dive into with you. Let's talk all things real. Now, let me just say, it doesn't matter whether you've dabbled a bit into making reels, if you've posted them, or even if you've never used them at all. All that matters is that your real game, it needs some work. And I'm here to help you make it pop. But first, we are going to go into the basics. That's what we're going to start with. We are going to start with learning why we should use Instagram Reels. Actually, let me give you a sneak peek into what's coming your way too. So this week, we are going to be talking all about Reels. Next week, we're going to get into how do you actually create Reels. And then the following week after that, I'm going to give you all the real ideas that you need for your business. Yes, I know this month you could say is pretty much all about reels in my world. So I hope, and I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart, I hope that you start implementing what I'm about to share with you. Can you promise me that? All right, let's get this show on the road then. So as an entrepreneur, I know you are trying to use social media to get on more people's radar. You are trying to get seen to grow your business but also you are trying to have some pretty awesome social proof for your business. And if you've been keeping up with these episodes, you probably already know that video content is one of the most important parts of that journey. Sadly, many entrepreneurs either don't care for making videos or they just don't have the confidence to show up on video. I even used to be someone like that. Seriously, going back six years ago, I never, and I mean never, I never would have thought that I would be someone to be shooting videos on Instagram, posting videos on YouTube, and heck, I never in a million years thought that I would start my own podcast, but here I am doing the do. At the end of the day, if you aren't stepping out of your comfort zone, are you really growing? So let me point this one out to you. We all start not knowing what we are doing. It takes practice, commitment, and just doing it until you actually get it right. Then you won't be nervous anymore. You too can be making great, great videos for your business, but I don't want you to just make videos for the sake of making a video. That, that's not worth your time whatsoever, to be honest with you. But what is worth your time? That's where reels come into play. So if you don't know what reels are, one, thank you for still being with me here right now, but two, let's catch you up just a little bit. So Instagram calls reels a new way to create and discover short entertaining videos. That alone pretty much explains what reels are. So right now, reels can be find, found really, really easily on the explore page. So once you tap on the real icon on Instagram, you'll go down what I like to call a scroll hole. All you need to do is keep scrolling to get videos that Instagram thinks that you like. Seriously, the algorithm is a pretty interesting thing if you really think about it. Have you ever gone on your partner's Instagram and noticed what reels pop up on their page versus yours? That's the power of customization when it comes to social media and I seriously love that aspect. 
and reels just make it that much better because they're entertaining. Plus, reels really can help you expand your business. The first thing that you need to know is that Instagram is an excellent sales and marketing tool. It's not just for us users who scroll videos and look at cute pictures. It is this huge ecosystem that offers us as entrepreneurs the ability to grow our business while we're sleeping. So if Instagram is an excellent platform, let's say for marketing, and Instagram Reels is one of the easiest way to reach new audiences, doesn't that mean that business owners should be making more Reels? Yeah, it does. But if this doesn't convince you, I've got a few more reasons why you should fix your Reel game. One of the hardest things to do on Instagram is get onto that Explore page. And the reason why is pretty simple. Content on the Explore page usually gets higher visibility. But the only reason why they get on that page in the first place is that they are performing well with their warm audience. Of course, like all other content on Instagram, Reels can get you also on that Explore page. So if your Reels have high initial likes, views, shares, and comments, they will quickly get onto that Explorer page. Since it's a lot easier for your Reels to be seen by others, your video content, the moment it hits that Explorer page, you'll see that big boost in engagement. And you know what that means. The more engagement that you're getting, the more you'll be seen by people. And the more people that I see you, the more visible you in your business is. The amazing thing about Reels is that if you do them properly, you can even funnel your viewers of the video directly to your website to sign up for something or to make a purchase. Pretty cool, right? Think about that for just a sec. You create a 15 second video and you get people to purchase your product or your service. And the more people that see it for free, by the way, the more purchases you are likely to get. Which, in my opinion, for free marketing, that's incredible. So how do you get more engagement on your reels so that you are more likely to hit that explore page? One of the trickiest aspects of Instagram to deal with is something called the algorithm. This algorithm decides what content you see on your account and who sees your content that you are putting out to the world. This is where the customization aspect of Instagram comes into play. Now out there in the marketing world, people teach entrepreneurs how to play the algorithm game or how to hack the algorithm to make sure that their content goes viral. And while yes, that is certainly possible, you can play with the algorithm a bit, I would rather you focus on making sure that your content is something that people actually love and are getting value from. That way you won't have to bend over backwards for the algorithm to make sure that your posts pop. They will just automatically do that. The great thing about Reels is that it's a natural algorithm hacker though. So unlike other Instagram content, people don't actually have to follow you to see your Reels. You don't have to be on that Explorer page to get more views. People don't even have to share your content. What they will do, basically Instagram will choose to show your video or your reel to the people that are scrolling. And if it feels engaging enough, they will show it to even more people and then it's a snowball effect. And before you know it, your calendar is full of new prospects begging to work with you because of one reel. Now, one of the biggest complaints that I hear about Reels is that they take time. But really, there's not much of a difference between a Reel and a photo, especially if you get to the point where you know exactly what you're putting out from your Reels and you stop trying to perfect it. And that's coming from a perfectionist. All you need to do is pick a trend or a video idea, record your video, add text within the app, and you are golden. To give you an idea of how easy it is, you can do everything in under 10 minutes. Sure, it's more complicated videos, may not be able to get that done, and you may not even be able to do it inside the app, but those can be made really, really surprisingly quickly in other video apps. Now, just because I'm saying, hey, they don't take as long as many people make them out to be, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be putting time and effort into your reels either. I don't want you just to throw up a video just for the sake of posting. Remember that you never actually wanna do that. You wanna be intentional. You want to focus your attention on making something great, not perfect, 
but great. And that's how you'll boost your profile. Now, another thing that I love about video content is that there are hardly any apps that you cannot repurpose them for. So even when you make a reel on Instagram, you can always save it to reshare it on your Instagram story or even your Facebook stories. You can also post on TikTok if you got a TikTok account. It can go on Facebook too, like on your feed, and it can be posted on Twitter too. The possibilities are almost endless once you actually create the reel. The biggest challenge is making sure that you have the audio file attached to it all with every single platform. When you're saving your reels on Instagram, it doesn't automatically save the audio. So definitely keep that one in mind. Now, another really big tip with Instagram reels is to showcase your personality. Seriously, think back to when you scroll through reels on Instagram, you'll probably notice that nine out of 10 videos that you're watching have a human face in them. In fact, I cannot remember when the last time I saw a reel without a human face. I'm sure I must have seen some animated reel or a location reel at some point, but I can't remember exactly when that was. Anyways, what this means is that you can kill two birds with one stone. You can humanize your brand, which is super important for small and medium business owners, and you can build a brand personality as well. So in today's world, the big brands and even have even bigger marketing budgets, but people are more comfortable doing business with people versus big brands. Sure, of course, the big brands, they are always going to have a massive part of the market because they can do things at the price that most people cannot do. But a growing market section, people want to be seen and heard. They don't want to just be another number in the book. And the best way to signal to prospective customers or clients that you'll treat them as the humans that they are is to humanize your brand. Show them that behind every single sale and every single reel, there's a real human who actually cares about their business and isn't just working for a rage. Since reels can be personal videos, I mean a lot of them are really short selfie made videos. They are a great way to signal to people that you care about them with your experience and your business. Now, suppose you're trying to develop a brand personality. In that case, reels are also an excellent way to do that since your mannerism, your quirks, and the little things about your brand that you want to develop can be safely expressed through video content. Plus, you'll hear me repeat this time and time again, you need to develop a personal brand within your social media and use that to grow your business. So if I landed on your social media profile right now and I don't see anything about who you are, that's your first step with your reel. Introduce who you are as a person. Now, of course, I do get it though. When we are trying to build a social media profile for a business, we do it because we want to market our brands. We want to be out there in the world. We want people to see us, to know about our business and the problem that we can actually solve for them, right? But since that's our goal, reels are a fantastic way to reach that goal. Let's be honest with ourselves. Seriously, let's be honest. Social media is a jungle. There are so many little things fighting for the average person's attention on social media that it is so difficult for them to focus for too long on one thing. Most of us can't even focus on something on Instagram for more than 10 seconds. It's kind of crazy. But the fact that reels are usually around that 10 to 15 second mark means that we can spread information about our brand, which is the one thing we are on social media for without boring people with it. The way that I see it, making the perfect reel is like a fun challenge. You've got to find a way to say something meaningful that will get people to listen in 15 seconds or less. Now, if you get it right, you will get loads of engagement and lots of prospective clients or even actual clients coming out from that one short video. And if you don't, you get the chance to try again and again and again until you get the right one. There's literally no downside to it. So if you've been sleeping on Instagram reels, I hope this was a wake up call for you. It's time to do some work. I cannot wait to see what you actually come up with and be creative by the way, be as creative as you possibly can, but make sure to tag me in your reels or check out my reels on Instagram. You can find me at Lisa and coaching if you need some new ideas, but don't forget, Next week, I will be back with how to actually create your reels. 
but don't let that hold you back right now. I want you to start implementing right away. You will be amazed at how quickly you'll see those views coming in. Oh, and by the way, can you do me a favor? I am trying to get a sense of what content you like to learn. So if you learned something new today and you loved this episode, please leave me a comment with your next real idea. And as always, subscribe so you are the first to know when the next episode is live. I hope you have the most incredible day today. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.